Sega. Shinobi is very fundamentally a side-scrolling action game, even from the very original incarnation in the arcade. We wanted to preserve the core combat elements that made the first game so popular, so the strong melee combat system up close, and then the ranged throwing stars, or in our case throwing knives, to balance out sort of that melee combat. I think if you mentioned Shinobi to anyone on the street, like, have you played this game? Did you own a Genesis? Like, most would say yes. Our main goal was preserving the design and sort of key elements that make the old games great. And that's fundamentally the great and tight combat systems, the interesting locations that you go to, the very cool enemies that you come across, and also that feeling of being just a badass ninja. We want you to be cool, we want you to feel awesome when you're playing this game. So we took those pillars and brought them forth, and we left those intact. But we also expanded upon stuff, so we added more combat news. The original game was one-hit kills, both in you taking out enemies, but then also you taking damage and dying. So it was really pretty intense. But as the games have progressed, they've become a little bit more involved in the way that you can actually dispatch your enemies, the ways that you can actually combat them. Artwork in Shinobi has always been a very difficult thing. The series has sort of progressed to a very interesting art style. We wanted to keep the fundamentally the 2D kind of feel of the classic Genesis games of Shinobi, but we also wanted to modernize and give it personality for today's sort of audience. We continue that process all the way to the end, from the cinematics to the design of the characters, the storyline, because we really want to make sure that we preserve what makes Shinobi special to Sega of Japan and also the Shinobi fans, but also do our little piece to expand the storyline and introduce new characters and bosses and enemies that can really grow the franchise as a whole. We're expanding the lore of Shinobi, we're expanding the characters, we're expanding the, the backdrop. We have a game that started on the arcades that is very like a quarter muncher. Once they hit you, you're dead. There's a lot of interesting aspects of the 3DS that compelled us. There was the 3D aspect of the system, and we felt that that could add a nice sense of depth to the worlds that we're building for Shinobi. And then you have the touch controls, you have the gyroscope, and being able to add those new gameplay mechanics into the classic sort of action in Shinobi was another compelling feature. This game is Shinobi. I mean, we had a really passionate development team. We had the support of Sega of Japan the whole way through and the whole IP holders. So it is a Shinobi title. It may have been developed by a Western studio, but we took what was great about the old Shinobi titles and we made them better. Oh, my God.